Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On the continuation of our program, e-learning, and we are still on the uh, issue of shares, and we explain the the calculation on the issue of shares on application allotment, first call, and the second call. And um, before we move down straight to the calculation work, on, that, on the question given to you last week, I will repeat again. Remember, we have an illustration. We have a fact limited issue out 20,000 ordinary shares of one error each payable as follow 10 cover on application, 20 cover on allotment, 40 cover on first call, and 30 cover on second call. Application was received. For 31,000 shares, that is 31,000 units of shares, a refund of money is made in respect of 1,000 shares. For the remaining 30,000 shares applied for, an allotment is made on pro rata basis, that is, two for every three applied for. The excess application money are set up against allotment money. The remaining request installment were paid in full so the following ledger entry that is so the ledger entry for the transaction and you have the brief calculation last week where we are whereby we have a work note one note two note three and so on one on application you have a 31,000 unit of CS multiplied by 10 cover on allotment will give us 3,100. An application money on allotment will have a 20 multiplied by 10 cover. That's 2,000. That's a pro rata basis, 2 for 3. And you have a return. You are giving the so a refund of money is made in respect of 1,000 units of CS. That's 1,000 multiplied by 10 cover We give us 100 naira. Allotment money, 20,000. Unit of sales multiplied by 20 cover will give us 4,000. Excess money, you have just to know, to calculate, to know the available number unit of sales. You have application received on 31,000 unit of sales. And you have to refund 1,000 unit of sales money. That's 31,000 minus 1,000 will give us 30,000. And uh, when you have a uh, 30,000, you have a uh, pro rata basis, you have a uh, that's two for three, in which we have only 20,000 units of sales available. You have a uh, 30,000 minus 20,000 units of sales will remain. The balance will give us 30,000, 10,000 units of sales. That's 30,000 minus 20,000 will give us uh, 10,000 units of sales. And to get the money, you have a 10,000 unit of sales multiplied by 10 cover will give us 1,000 naira. The total allotment money, in which we have 20,000 multiplied by 20 cover will give us 40,000. 4,000, you need to minus the excess, that's 1,000 naira from it, will give us 3,000 naira. And if you have a first call, 20, that's uh, you base your first call, second call, on allotment basis, you have a 20,000 multiplied by 40 cover will give us 8,000. Second call, you have a 20,000 multiplied by 30 cover will give us 6,000. Now, back to the calculation and the account to prepare the ledger entry. The first ledger account to prepare is bank account. And you have a note one whereby you have a 31,000 unit of sales multiplied by 10 cover will give us 3,100. And you debit the bank account. And you have allotment whereby you have a 20, you have a 20,000 multiplied by 20 cover unit of 20 cover. And we give us a 4,000. Remember, you have a minus 1,000 naira. That's 10,000 unit of CS multiplied by 10 cover will give us 1,000. 4,000 minus. 1,000 will give us a 3,000 Naira. That's how we have a note 6. And you have a second call. The second call, you have a 20,000 multiplied by 
You have a 20,000 multiplied by 40 cobo will give us 8,000. You debit the bank account. The same thing applicable to the note 8, whereby you have the second call. You have a 20,000 unit of sales multiplied by 30 cobo will give us 6,000 naira. On credit side, that is the payment side of this one, remember we refund. You are giving under the instruction that you have a 1,000 unit of sales refund. The money of 1,000 unit of sales must refund to all the applicants, and you have a 1,000 multiplied by 10 cover will give us a 100 naira, and that will be on the payment side. And uh, the total on the debit side will give us 20,100 minus 100 naira. Here you have the balance carried down. And when you have the balance carried and after that one you move down to the you move down to the application account to move down to the application account and you have the you have the application account here you have the application money 3100 on the debit side of the bank account remember all debit entry must have corresponding credit entry and you have a 3000 100 naira on the credit side. On the debit side of the application account, you need to do the analysis. Here you have a refund. How much do you refund to the applicant? That is, you refund the money, the money worth 1,000 units of sale. That's 1,000 multiplied by 10 cover will give us 100 naira. Remember, you have 100 naira on the credit side of the bank account. All credit entry must have corresponding debit entry and you debit the application account. And here, you, again, you have allotment under the working note 5. You have a 30,000 unit of a, you have a 30,000 unit of CS minus 20,000 based on prorata. You have a minus 20,000 units of CS will give us 10,000 excess. 10,000 multiplied by 10 cover will give us 1,000. That's how you have 1,000 excess money received on the application and after that one you have a note 2 under the note 2 you have an application money allotted 20 20,000 multiplied by 10 cover and we give us a 2,000 that's a share capital ordinary share capital based on pro rata and you had the both side together your account must balance and after after the application account and you now prepare the allotment account to prepare the allotment account here you have the under the um, application account you have a uh, 1000 on the debit side of the uh, application account and the same 1000 naira must be transferred to the allotment account here you have all debit entry must have corresponding credit entry. That's 1,000 you have there as excess. The difference between the 30,000 unit of sales and 20,000 unit of sales will give us, multiply by 10 cover, will give us 1,000 naira. That's how we derive 1,000 naira. And you debit and you credit the allotment account. And when you credit the allotment account, now under the note 4, whereby you have uh, an allotment, you have a 20,000 unit of sales multiplied by 20 cover will give us a 4,000 naira. And you debit the world, you debit the allotment account. If you, are, if you have interest to find the difference, you have a bank on this, uh, on this uh, side of the allotment, you have a bank. When you have a bank, go back to the bank account, you have the, when you go back to the bank account, you have allotment on the debit side of the bank account, all debit entry must have corresponding credit entry. You have a 3,000, and you have a balance balance, 4,000, you have a 4,000. And after the allotment account, the next one to prepare is the first call. When you have the first call, under the bank account, you have a first call, note seven, you have a 8,000, all debit must have corresponding credit entry and you transfer that 8,000 to the credit side of the allotment account. And to close the account, you have the, the next account to prepare, that is to transfer 8,000 naira to its ordinary share capital account. That is, you have 8,000 naira 
apply the double entry, you have a debit entry on the bank account and you credit the allot uh, first call account. And the next account to transfer is ordinary share capital. That is, you debit the first call account, balance, balance, 8,000 here, and you have 8,000 on the credit side. The next one is the second call. When you have the second call, um, go back to the bank account again, you have a debit side. Second call money, you have a note 8, 8,000 naira. And the next account to transfer is ordinary share capital. You have the 8,000 naira here, and you have a 6,000 naira here, and you're supposed to have a 6,000 naira here. And when you have a 6,000 naira, and the 6,000 naira, and you have the, when you have a 6,000 naira, and the next account to prepare to transfer that 6,000 naira to is ordinary share capital account. And because, and the ordinary share capital account is not part of the ledger given to you because you mention and you transfer first call, second call, and the allotment money. That's why it's necessary to prepare the ordinary share capital account. It's part of the ledger. And to prepare this one, if you have to take it one by one, you start from the, from the application account. When you start from the application account, Remember you have the refund 100 naira and you have an allotment excess uh, based on prorata you have the excess of a 10,000 unit of sales multiplied by 10 cobra will give us a 1,000 naira that's why you have allotment there and you have the ordinary share capital ordinary share capital that's you have the 20,000 unit of sales based on prorata you have a multiplied by 10 cobra that's how we have that 2,000 naira under application money referred to as ordinary share capital. All debit must have corresponding credit entry. And we transfer this one. Based on application, you have a 2,000 naira on credit side. But go back to the allotment account. On the allotment account, you have an ordinary share capital on the debit side. All debit must have corresponding credit entry. You have a 4,000 naira again. Follow the same thing. Under the first call account and the second call account, you have ordinary share capital on the debit side. All debit must have corresponding credit entry. The same thing applicable to the second call. Ordinary share capital on the debit side of the second call. All debit must have corresponding credit entry. And you balance your account. And you realize that all the item you have here must not go beyond the total value of the allotment that is based on the prorata you have a twenty thousand that's two for three and you have a twenty thousand unit of sales and you know your money must be all the total value must not be more than twenty thousand naira and on the debit side of ordinary share capital no entry therefore you need uh, write something there and you have a balance carry down all the total here you transfer to the debit side of the ordinary share capital. All, and after, when you have a balance carry down, you close your account, double line. When you close your account, and you now have the balance brought down on the debit, balance brought down on the credit side of the account. Mm. That's the end of this uh, ledger account. And remember, if you are asked, to prepare the necessary ledger because the, this question be silent on the type of the ledger to prepare. But based on the, in the question, you have the, under this illustration one, fact limited issue out 20,000, ordinary share of one naira each payable as follow. You have a 10 on application, 10 cover on application, and you have allotment, you have a first call and you have a second call and followed by ordinary share. Therefore, it now give you the clue that you, the first thing you have to prepare, because the moment the company receives the money from the applicant, that is the potential shareholder, and the money will pay directly to the bank account. That's why we first of all prepare the bank account. After bank account, followed by application account, and followed by allotment account. If you are giving the first call, you prepare the first call account. Second call account, if you are giving the third call, you prepare the 
uh, third color, Akan, or the culinary as Akan. And after you prepare the ordinary share capital account and you close your own account, then you need to follow the principle rule and regulation one by one. Or else, if you transfer the wrong figure, the wrong figure will now be transferred from one account to another, which, will, which always reduce the mark of a student at the end of the day. And I wish you the best of luck. Subhana Rabbi Karam Nisati Amaya Sifunu. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi wa rabbi alamin.